Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Y'all already know who it is. It's your favorite gamer girl, Crunk Girl 711, bringing y'all a new video for the day. What's going on? What's happening, everybody? Shouts out to all the people who watch the channel and shouts out to shittech.com. And I'm bringing y'all today a new video. It's a review for um, Uncharted 4. Um, I think I let y'all know that uh, I actually finished Uncharted 4 like two weeks ago, I think. Um, and I've been playing other games. But I finally, finally, finally got the time and the patience to actually go over all my thoughts, how I feel about the game, and actually give it a score or whatever you want to call it, or tell you should you buy it or not, and uh, I'd say a review. Um, Y'all know I don't re do reviews too often because I feel like if you don't finish the game or it's in certain genres that you should not give a full-fledged review for the game. You should just do impressions. So I finished this game, played it thoroughly. So I'm going to give y'all my review. So first and foremost, this has got to be out of the ones that I've beaten. I know y'all know I beat Uncharted 1 and I beat Uncharted 3. I have not beaten Uncharted 2 all the way through. I played it like halfway through and then Uncharted 3 came. So you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, I'm going to skip it and go straight to 3. So I should go back to 2 for the collection, but I just haven't, just haven't done it. Um, But for the ones that I have beaten, this by far I think is the better game out of the two. Is it better than Uncharted 2? I don't know. I have to fin I need to finish Uncharted 2 to say definitively if it's the better game. But from what I play, it is bounds better than three and it's way better than one. Um the overall gameplay of this game has a little bit of it's got a lot of uncharted but it's got some last of us elements in it too like if y'all see this part right here a lot of stealth went into this part right here um you really don't have to kill people if you don't want to but you have to play excuse me you have to play according to stealth rules because if they see you they will kill your butt especially if you're playing on crushing um i beat this game on hard i didn't even play i didn't play on crushing um, I took aim assist off. There is no aim assist. Um, not playing with aim assist. Um, but I was like, yo, I just did not want to deal with the headache of crushing. <laughs> crushing is a headache, especially when you get to the later parts of the game, like chapter, I think, 20. Uh, yo, crushing it. Yo, even, it was even hard on, um, hard. So I could imagine how it was going to be hard on crushing. So I beat this gun on hard. I, I don't care about the trophies and whatnot. So I just played it on regular hard mode and called it a day. Um. Um, the stealth element is a new part of Uncharted that they haven't really explored before. I'm guessing because it's Neil Druckmann and the other guy's game, and they brought some of the Last of Us elements to it. Um, they also brought in the part where you have to go get a, instead of a ladder, you have to go get one of those little boxes. Yeah, the boxes, like, randomly <laughs> in spots and shit like that. Um, but randomly put into places, it's, eh, I didn't like that aspect. They could have tried something a little different, but okay. Um, that's something they added to the gameplay. Um, of course, aim assist. I don't even think Uncharted 1, 2, or 3 even had aim assist on it. They actually, I think this is the first game where they put aim assist on. Um, um, let's see what else. Um, they added new characters. Um, we're going to talk about the story a little bit. and my maybe some spoilers. Um, but I'm trying not to, I'm trying to hold spoilers, no, I'm to the end. Um, so in this game... They start off in a little earlier into Drake's life. Um, Drake has a brother named Sam that we never knew about. Um, and they talk more about his days in the orphanage, which we really didn't know about either. They talked about it a little bit, but they didn't really go like head on into his life at the orphanage. You um, know what I'm saying? His mother and her, her the, what she brought to the table when it comes to who made him who he is and the mystery behind her. We kind of figured her out a little bit in certain parts of the game that were kind of slow, slower moments in the game. The pacing in this game was okay. It wasn't fantastic. It wasn't great. But it was it was an okay pacing for what it was because I knew it was going to have slow down parts in the game because they had to cover a lot of different things dealing with Drake because his game, like, to end, end it like they ended it, I knew that they, if they was going to end this off right, that there was going to be some slow parts in the game that kind of mesh everything together. Because uh, you, you just can't have an off, just straight up game that's just shoot, 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 no stopping, no no character development, none of that. So, 
They got a lot of character development between him and his brother Sam through the whole entire game. Because you're rarely by yourself in this game. Most of the time you're with somebody, but not. It's a couple instances where you're by yourself. Um, but um, Sam comes into play and brings basically Sam uh, Drake out of out of retirement. Him and Elena are a happy couple, whatnot. Um, but Drake still fiends for that 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 treasure honey aspect. Like he still fiends it a little bit, but he's kind of like trying to tame it. But things come to a head when he finds out about Sam and that Sam is not dead, that he's alive. And then we find out a little bit about Sam's background, as in like jail and um, the treasure that they're after. That they've been after that same treasure since they were little boys. Um, and Sam, um, Sam, Sam basically brings it to, to Drake and finds him like a year or two later. And um, after he gets out of jail, I'm not gonna say how he got out of jail, but he gets out of jail. Um, and he shows up on Drake's uh, doorstep, basically telling him something. Somebody's gonna kill me unless I find this treasure. So Drake, being who he is, is like, you know what? I love my brother. I, I feel fa I feel bad for what happened to him and if he feels partially responsible so he's gonna help him find this treasure and the treasure they're looking for is a treasure they've been looking for their whole lives you know what I'm saying and it's part of the reason why they, they got in the predicament they were in that um with the, the reason why his brother went missing for so long and was pronounced dead it was because of that damn treasure so they go off into these extremely big for a Uncharted game um, places like go to Madagascar one time um, I think Madagascar is probably the biggest openest place you go um, uh, I'm trying to think where else you go because there's not like I don't know if they're like real areas like real full fledged areas I know Madagascar is like one of the biggest because that's where you drive the car um, Madagascar is huge for an Uncharted game it's there, there's a lot of things you're not going to find your first playthrough you're going to have to go like you're really gonna have to go play it a second time to find all the collectibles, um, find all the uh, the pamphlet little uh, papers and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of puzzles, but some of them are hard. Um, I think the hardest puzzle for me was the one with the paintings. This one wasn't that hard. This was basically a uh, uh, which one was this? This one was the uh, the, uh, the signs like the Gemini and. The, uh, Aquarius signs um, with the clock. This one wasn't that hard. It was just you had to you had to make sure you didn't kill yourself trying to do the puzzle because it was a fucking it's like a big ass clock. Um, but other than that, man, like the puzzles were weren't extremely hard. They weren't like extremely easy either. Like you know what I'm saying? They weren't. But anybody like anybody could just figure them out like that. Um, the paintings uh, one was my, I think, the funnest one and the hardest one for me. It took me a little minute to figure that shit out. I know some people was just playing with, playing with the paintings one, and they just fought. They just, it just figured itself out. They just got lucky. Like I died right there. <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, for me, it was, it was, it was kind of hard. Um, but actually, it was the one of the funny, uh, one of the funnest puzzles I think. That one, and it was another one where you get to uh, Libertalia. Um, but the, the story was really interesting, very historical when it comes to, uh, different pirates, um, all these pirates were after this one thing is basically, basically like, uh, building their own United States of America type of thing where they wanted to build their own city, town, country, state, whatever you want to call it, called Libertalia, um, where everybody could live and, and it, it, it was, when you get to Libertalia, it's fucking beautiful. This game, looks wise, is oh my Jesus, um, like amazing. Uh, graphically, this is one of the best looking games on a PS4. It may be the best looking game on a PS4, but I think the order still hands down. Art style wise, it's still the better looking overall game. But Uncharted looks really fucking good, and um, you know, you 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 can always be opinionated when it comes to an art style. Like our Persona art style is looks amazing, but does it look better than Uncharted 4's art style? That's you know what I'm saying. It's an opinion. Um, to me, I still think the Order, hands down, still is the best looking game. But Uncharted is fucking close, man. Like you can look at you can look at the city, 
um, when you stop sometimes, once you get higher and higher in Libertalia and you go to like New Dovin and you're in the mountains and you just turn around and look at where, where you were at the beginning, crazy. The cinematic pieces like this right here where the facial features and everything, you can see the, the, the freaking, uh, you can see veins in their necks and hands and very detailed, um, very na uh, Naughty Dog like. Uh, this is a way more story driven game than I thought it was. Um, they're climbing a lot. People just call it the climbing simulator, but it climbed in every all of the Uncharted games. On this game, you climb a lot more, though. Um, but the cinematic parts were amazing. Um, the part of Madagascar where you're, where they showed at E3, I feel they shouldn't have showed that. Because when they showed that, that's, that's one of the biggest set pieces in the game. And one of the best parts of this game. Because at one time, I didn't think you were doing all that stuff. Jumping from car to car to car. But you, like, really are doing that yourself. Like, there's no, like, cinematic press button and he'll go here. Press button, he'll go. Nah, like, you really doing that. And you can, yo, that was one of the best parts of this game. I think that was a, one, one of the best parts. One of the, the twists in the game was a, was a really good twist. Um, I seen it coming. I just didn't know when it was going to come. But I didn't know the lie was going to be that big of a lie. Um, no, I just, I, the twist in the story, it was amazing. I'm kind of disappointed with the no, no, uh, Chloe, because I was a, a huge fan of Chloe, and she didn't show up in the game except for in the beginning, like very, very, one of the, I think chapter four, um, that was when she showed up, so the story, yeah, I think it was a nine out of ten, even though Chloe didn't show up, and a couple other people didn't show up that I thought were going to end their stories, um, the ending of the game was pretty good, but the boss fight was, eh, it was cool, it was fun, but I don't think it was one of the better boss fights in the game. Um, boss fight was good, though. Um, the villains, uh, Rafe and um, Nadine. Yo, Nadine is a beast. When I tell you Nadine was fucking awesome, yo, Nadine was busting every... Yo, she was busting Sam and freaking Drake's ass. <laughs> she was like one of the best villains in, in the Uncharted, um, in, in my opinion, in the Uncharted trilogy. Um, or four games that came out. She was the best one, I think. And that's Nadine right there, actually, who I just shot and killed. Bitch ass. Um, Rafe was more of a sadistic, lunatic type of guy. Like, he just fucking crazy as hell. Just straight up, like, a, he, he had a lot of money. And he's just a crazy ass dude. Like, you see that at the beginning. Once they uh, get out of jail at the very beginning, you can tell that Rafe is just and lost it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shot his ass. Um, but uh, those two, those two actually work great together. He was more of a mind, and she was more of a muscle. You know what I'm saying? So I, I like that dynamic. I like it way better than it was Marlo. Um, uh, what's his name? Lavera, Lavera? I can't think of the dude from the beginning. Uh, the first one. Um, I think I liked him better than all of those. Um, I think. Anything else? Multiplayer. Since we're looking at multiplayer footage, let's talk about multiplayer. Uh, multiplayer is is fun, but I still think there's a lot of crutches in it. I do not like having that fucking map in the game. I do not like the map. Um, I do not like the uh, I like the sidekick aspect, but I wish it wasn't even there. They had the bare bones where it was just gun on gun. I uh, I like the fact that you can there's gun add-ons and you can um actually build your gun the way you want to. Um, I like that you can pick up. I like the fact of you can pick up your guy and heal him like you can in um The Last of Us. But I wish it was more bare bones like The Last of Us was, where there was no sidekicks that could help you and there was uh, no mysticals. You know what I'm saying? Even though that's what makes it different from the other ones, I just wish it didn't have it. If it, if they didn't, they need a bare bones mode. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, got him with the pistol. Give me that. Uh, somebody, t they took my damn kid. Ain't that a bitch? Um, but yeah, man. Uh, I, I think this is a pretty good game. Uh, I, I gave it a nine out of ten. You know what I'm saying? There's some things I don't like, but most of this stuff I do love. I, I, I like this game. This is a game that if you have a PS4, you do need to own. So. This is your girl, Crunk Girl 7-Eleven, man, and I'm out. Shouts out to SheAttack.com.